Yeah, I mean, we, we had an amazing hot rod, you know. Uh, obviously, that's Mopar power speaking out loud right there. I mean, it's just uh, just something Dickie Venerables and those guys, I knew they could do. The conditions are right, and, they've, you know, we've had this combination in now for a couple of years, and Don Schumacher provides us with all the parts and pieces to go out there and do something like that, but you have to have a racetrack and a race surface like this out here, and obviously the conditions to roll in there and do that. Uh, you know, it was pretty cool, though, when you got in the car and strapped in, and he's just, Dickie's like, Hold on, you know what I mean? Like you're gonna go for a ride. So uh, it's pretty pretty amazing. Uh, you know, everybody says extreme sports and you see, you know, Monster and Red Bull and all these other, uh, you know, sponsors in these other sports. And this is as extreme as it gets, man. I mean, 338 miles an hour and you got a steering wheel between your lap, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's is craziness, you know? And, uh, and, and it's not even that it's 330 miles an hour, it's that we're doing it in a thousand feet, you know? And it's, uh, it's just insane. So, uh, yeah, there, there you go for your stream sports, you know. So this is about as extreme as, as it gets, you know. And, uh, I mean, I've never, you know, flipped two or three flips with a, on a dirt bike, but it can be close to this, you know. So uh, uh, just uh, just awesome, though. Uh, you know, we got the conditions and the parts and pieces and the power and, uh, you know, the, the, the crew that's doing a great job out there. And, um, and it's just cool to go out there and get it done. And then to go out there and back up an 80 run like that, um, you know, it speaks for itself. You know, everybody says, well, oh, it's a fluke. Well, there you go. It's not a fluke. It's, it's hauling the mail and that's uh, getting it done. So um, that Mopar power speaks for itself. I think we have a great team. You know, uh, I don't know how many we have overall, but the confidence level is high. And, and we struggled in the last couple of races, to be honest, even though uh, we pulled a few number ones off. Our, we had to change some clutch discs that we had extreme success with at the beginning of the year and we're just getting figured out you know that that there was an impressive one there because that just took guts you know that took two crew chiefs to sit together and go i have an idea let's really let's try sometimes when you have a 16 car field you can do that we're already qualified good there's no reason to go out there and try to run a mid 80 i mean step on turn the knobs and these conditions they're so far and few between that we don't have a, a logbook full of this stuff so the data is not there, so it's kind of nice for them to go out, make a great run like that, be able to put put that in the books because at the end of the year we're going to need it. And this is these are conditions that you see, you know, in Reading, Pennsylvania, at the end of the year. So let's go out and try to win a championship. But let's just enjoy this. Try to win Topeka. You know, Atlanta avoided us once again. Uh, let's pay back in Topeka. I mean, I thought the day would come. You know, you always wonder is it going to be us or you know are the conditions going to be you know everything's got to be just right in order to run that well. And, I knew when we looked at the weather forecast for today, you know, if it didn't rain, we were going to have some really good conditions, and um, the car's just been responding real well, and, um, you know, it's, it's fun when it's like this, because it's just a matter of turning the knobs to the right, you know, when it's good, and, and see what it'll take, and kind of both runs are like that, I mean, we, we figured we could run 82 is what we were trying to run the first run, and it went 80. We figured we could run 79 the second run, and it went 80. So, you know, it's just, you know, we tried to give it a little more. We could tell by looking at the first run. It wasn't going to take a whole lot, but we weren't going to go up there and not try and go faster. And it just, it made the same run. It was a little faster early and not quite as fast through the middle. And, but it was still great runs. I mean, it's a fun day, no yeah. doubt. Tomorrow it's going to be, you know, it's supposed to be 75 and sunny. So, um... We'll, we'll go back to race mode, just pull everything back, be smart about, you know, race the racetrack, and, you know, we won't be trying to run 380 first round, you know, we'll pull it back a tenth at least and go up there and just, you know, try and win first round and take it one round at a time and try and turn on four lights. Um, but no, it's always fun coming here, I, you know, I came here the first year it was open and, uh, Togo and I were working for Shirley, and we we set you know a national record then. I mean, it, this track's just always been fast if the conditions are right. So, really fun racetrack.